guys, it's Lisa with GoBadGirl.blogspot.com and I wanted to share with you a haul that I got in the mail today. This is from Susanna's Custom Art and Card Design. Um, this is actually an order that I placed in like the 21st of August or something like that. And the reason I, I have to tell you about this is that I had placed this order and I sent a money order because she's really cool about you can either pay by credit card, pay by PayPal, or send a check or money order, and I usually send her a check or money order because I go shopping when she has sales on it. It's usually before my payday. So I sent it to her, but then Susanna emailed me and said, you know, I haven't gotten your, your check or money order. Did you not want your order? And I said, well, let me check into it. And long story short, can't come to find out the money order was lost in the mail. Someone else had tried to cash it or whatever. So I emailed her back and let her know, you know, that I couldn't get the money order company to refund me my money for, I think it takes like six weeks before they'll refund me my money. And to, and so then she emailed me back and she says, well, if you still want it, let me know and, and I can hold it for you until you get the money or you get paid or whatever. So I just want you to, and the reason I'm bringing it up is because I just wanted to tell you what a super, super kind lady this that Susanna is. She actually waited the extra two weeks for me to get paid again for me to send her back in the money order, a new money order. She made sure that it got there and let me know it did, and then she mailed it right out to me. So, anyway, that's my story, and I just want you to know that she's so awesome to, sorry, my camera's moving and moving it, so awesome, awesome to work with. So this is what I came home to, and I was going to wait to open it, but of course, I have to wait till my whole family goes to bed because our, you know, we have two teenagers and TVs going and everything else, and don't pay attention to my t desktop because it's like terribly, terribly messy. I've been working on being sick and getting cards done and then I have things coming up that I have to get stuff done for. But anyway, so my first thing I ordered was the Spellbinders Nestability, the big scalloped squares, which I love. I don't have any of those and I thought that'd be really fun. So she sent me that and this is what, this is so awesome. Every time you, I order something with her and she does, she does it for all our customers, she sends a little thank you. She sent me some Teresa Collins bling, which is a little orange and white and black. They are adorable. Thank you so much, Susanna. I love, love those. Some Celebrations fl Paper Flowers by Pantaloo. I have never, ever seen those. I hope my camera will pick that up because they are just gorgeous. And, da da da, -da my mind's eye is mischievous. I'm not sure what these are actually called. Decorative brads. And these right here are like paper on the brads. The 31st. I mean, you guys, I'm sure everybody's seen these, but to me, I've never seen them. I don't have a store around, as I always say, and it just, for me, I can't tell you how much it means to me that she sends me stuff like that. I think that's awesome. Thank you so much, Susanna. Okay, so this is kind of a spoil me haul, so it really wasn't supposed to get lost in the mail or anything because I kind of placed a large enough order to get free shipping. Um, I bought some of the Bow Bunny trinkets. I, they've got the metal and the different stuff to go with, and I just thought they were so cute. I don't know if you can see that it says lifetime moments. Sorry, my camera's not focusing. You don't need to see me because I'm in my foot shirt. And then I bought the Bobani trinkets for this one. This is for the zoology because a couple, about a month or so ago, I had bought the zoology papers and I thought she had these on sale and I thought they would go really good. And of course, that's the Vicky B. I love the Vicky B. And I bought some of the Pearlized Top Coat Smooch. I don't have any smooch. I've seen tons of people that use it. I have a friend that uses it that I've seen on occasion. Um, but I thought I'd give this one a try, and I think I'm going to try and get some more because I know they can look really cute on Halloween cards and everything. And then, I don't usually buy rubber stamps or, I mean, clear stamps or acrylic stamps. I don't have good luck with them, but I thought I would give this one a go because it's the Stella Rose. And, of course, y'all know how much I love my mind. I mean, I love the little bird cage, and I thought that was pretty cute. And I thought maybe I could use it for different scenes or whatever. So I got that. So my main haul is, of course, as always, my 6x6 paper pads. This one is by Basic Gray, and this is the Wander paper pad. I'm just going to flip through real quick. As I'm sure you must have, most of you have seen them, but that is just super cute. I thought that this would be great. I mean, to me, this, you could use this on a Halloween page, you could use this on a little boy page, on a travel page. I love that. Little gondolas. Just some really, really adorable papers. That's awesome. 
but I, my husband and I used to go on Google Earth all the time and look around where we were born and different stuff, see how the towns and cities have changed, and it's just, that looks like Google Earth to me. So that would be a great backscape for a card. Lots and lots of different stuff you can do with it. I just, of course, everybody loves basic gray paper, and I do too. Okay, man, I have not bought any uh, crepe paper since my friend owned the store here, and those were in 12 by 12 then, and I've not seen any crepe paper, but everybody's been getting them, so I thought I would try this one. This one's called Toy Box Collection, and as soon as I have a great nephew, just turned one today, and I have some, ne I, one, well, I have four nephews, but one, uh, three of them are adults, and two of them, one of them's a little guy, so I thought this would be fun paper for little boys. And then, <laughs> they can mean boys too. Uh, chili bean soup. This one's watermelon gazpacho soup. have not seen this before. Love, love, love that. Of course, I realize it's not summertime anymore here, but hey, you never know when you might need to make a summertime card for someone else. And this is cool because in the middle of all that writing, it says summertime is the best time. And this page, even though my camera is not showing it, is actually a real nice pretty pink, or pink, my goodness. I'm tired, you guys. Sorry, I worked all day. Uh, orange with a darker orange writing, and then this, of course, is in the creamish white. Watermelon. Stars and stripes. I just thought this was really kind of a great all-around pad. I like this, I might have to try some more jelly bean soup. And another great basic gray pad is Life of the Party. Hopefully you guys can get a better picture of these. Kind of trying to shoot around my silly camera here. <laughs> I like that. I like pages that have little words to them and stuff. Very cute. Banners. Now that is awesome. That can be used for hardware for men, like a man's card, because the tape measures. My dad used to have one of those wooden ones that. It, or it can be used for my mom, who does sewing all the time. If you could pick presents, that would be a Christmas card, birthday card, any kind of card. Flag. And stripes. Oh. Now that is cute. I don't know why I'm so addicted to these. I swear I have so many 6x6 six six paper pads, and if I had the money, I'd have even more. Um, Nordic Holiday by Basic Gray. I have been seeing this pop up around Logland and... YouTube, and I just thought it was so cute. I had to have it. I love those. Those are just so cute. Can you imagine some Anya's on that? I cannot wait. This one says, Treats, Gingerbread, Christmas, Merry, Friends, Greetings, Party, Holidays. Love it. Very, very pretty. Hope you guys are seeing that okay. Very, very pretty. I love that. that. That would be awesome for paper piecing a sweater on an Anya, or an Ian for that matter. I think they might have to go on a ski trip and do that, you know. I don't ski, but Anya and Ian certainly can. Excuse me, I'm going to have to fix my pads here. I have cried everywhere, you guys. Sorry about that. And, ah, I'm sorry. Authentic. This is literally the second pad, paper pad I've gotten of theirs, and I think they've got beautiful paper. This one, I'm trying to look for a name of it, but I don't think it's really saying what it is. Oh, Splendid. Very pretty papers. I'll kind of go slow, so, or a bit faster, so I'm not bugging you guys. Sorry, I know I sound nasally, but I have had a cold this last week. I finally got it from my two kids that went back to school, of course, and got their cold. And then, of course, you all know how much I absolutely adore my mind's eye. So this is um, one of their mischievous pack, which thank you so much, Susanna, because now I have stuff to put with it. Look at this stuff, you guys. Is that not the cutest Halloween papers? You don't even necessarily have to use them for Halloween. And the thing I like about my mind's eyes is not only you get one side, but you get two different sides to pick from. And they're just always awesome, either side you pick. Very cute paper pad. And then I had to get another 6x6. Six six. This one's Paris and Company. You can tell I went ahead and opened all these because I didn't want to have to do it on screen. I'm not good at it. 
not good at it under pressure. All right, love it. We. I really, really love this brown and blue, and I'm pretty sure that's probably why I bought it that day. It's like I had to have browns and blues. They're beautiful. It used to be black and white was my all-time favorite colors. It's what my wedding was in, but I'm really liking the browns and blues together. Very pretty papers. I hope you guys can see this. I'm sorry. I'm too busy looking at them myself to share. Okay. Just a few more, I promise. And then I got some SEIs. I have not had SEI papers in 6x6s. Six I haven't bought SEI since they were the basic, oh, you know, the blue, light blues and light pinks and all those pastel things. I haven't bought SEI in years. This, you guys, I don't know if you can see it. That has, like, foil in it. Can you see that? There you go, a little bit. Is that not pretty? It's such a pretty texture. These papers rock. They're one-sided but they are beautiful. This is a foil texture to it. This one has a foil texture to it. You can see the sheen. That, I love that. That's going to be a beautiful spring card, but you can't see the foil. A little bit. Anyway, and that too. Those are gorgeous. Anyway, this one is Sunny Day. <laughs> And I'm going to save that away like the last, for best for last. This one is with all my heart. These were on sale and I couldn't pass it up. I thought, you know, what the heck. Oh, look at that, you guys. I didn't realize it, but that's one big heart. And again, you can see the, the shine and the glitter in the paper, not coming off on my hand. That's got shine to it. Very, very pretty. Look at those. Gorgeous. They're flowers, but they kind of look like butterflies. And I love that. How whimsical. At least I know I'm set to go with some Valentine's card paper and before it even gets here. And that, see that shine? It's glittery, but it's a shine too, and so it doesn't come off on your hands. I love it. Okay, now I don't know why, because this is totally not me, but I really love this A Fair Day. Look at that. Isn't that just adorable? And yes, it has that paper in there with sparkles and shine and everything else. And it's just really whimsical. You could do a baby card out of that. You could do just fun, fun cards. Really cute. I think I might have to make a project with that. And the balloons, same thing. Shiny and glittery and not coming off on my hands. Love that. Cotton candy. It's just cute. It's just fun, and I thought that was really special. Okay, I know. I'm running up the time here. Okay, and last two. I finally went ahead and bit the bullet and bought Webster's Pages um, double pack collection of ladies and gents and trendsetters, and I'm sure everybody has seen these either in the 12x12 or the 6x6s, um, so I won't take them out because you're probably sick of hearing my voice and listening to me. Anyway, got that. And last but not least, from Susanna's, I bought a memory box. This one is called Minuet. And I am going to take this out. Sorry for the noise. I should have done it ahead of time. But this paper is so pretty, you guys. There's the kind of the overview of them. If you like butterflies, which I know a lot of people do, they are just that. I love that. That's script in there. I probably can't see that well. But to me, they all just kind of look like paintings, and they're just so pretty. Look at those butterflies. Look at those. And those are look like little umbrellas to me, I think. Love it. Very pretty papers. Very, very pretty papers. Love it. Okay, now what I'm going to show... Oh, gosh, you guys, I am so sorry. See, this is the total, total mess total mess. I wasn't going to do this because I didn't want to run really long, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. Hopefully I won't knock over my camera. Um, I'm not sure if the rest of you, I'm sure you guys already saw it, but you know how Spellbinders now has the new uh, edge abilities. Flowers to Flourish had two sets the other day. I think I paid like $24 for two of them, which I thought was an excellent deal. I'm going to lift this up, so sorry, bear with me. 
So the first set that was on sale was um, classic Rick Racks. That's what they look like. And then the second set is classic postage stamp. And of course you can use these. So I put them in my book that I had made and I thought, well, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to ever be able to remember which ones go with which just from looking. Obviously this one you could, but you know, whatever. But on the back of the page, of course, they had it, these guidelines. So I cut them down so that I could have a remember to place them there. And I thought what I would do is I numbered them, like this is number one, this is number two here, and then I numbered these one and two because they make cards and I like to have done what I'm using. So anyway, I did them on this page and I'm keeping them like that in my book. And then, because I have a little bit of room here, if I have like a... I don't know, something small, I'll put them here. Otherwise, I'll just keep the pages like this, and then that way I can put more on the back. Well, only on the back, because this is my things, but as you can see, I still have plenty of room in my folder to put more. Anyway, so that is my haul, mess and all. So I go. hope you guys all have a wonderful, crafty, crafty, <laughs> crafty weekend. And please forgive me for my voice and for my tired ramblings. Have a good night, you guys, and talk to you later. Bye.